Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into an awesome HTML and CSS code snippet that creates a stunning 3D effect. I'm super excited to share this code snippet with you. So let's get started. We start with the HTML code. We create a div with class container. Inside the container, we have an image tag with source attributes at two rows.png. This is a transparent rose image which you can download from any website. If you need this exact same image, I have provided it on my website. You can download it along with the source code. Followed by the image, we have an h1 element which consists the text hello. After this, we again have an image tag with the same source attribute as before, that is rose.png. We add the class image back and image front for both the images respectively. You can see here the image is transparent. Now moving on to CSS. We select the div with class container and set its side to 12 em and width to 30 em. This values determine the size of container on the web page. Additionally, we position the container absolutely using position absolute and center it horizontally and vertically with transform combined with left and top properties. Now, let us talk about the h1 element which represents the large text in our defect. For h1 element, we set the font size to 10 em which makes the text appear huge and eye catching. We also specify the font family as Poppins which is a popular font choice and set the fallback font to any sans serif font. To achieve this 3D effect, we position the h1 element absolutely as well, just like the container. We also set the line height to 0 to remove any vertical spacing between the lines of the text. Now coming to images. We position the images absolutely as well and set the width to 12.5 em. We position the image absolutely on the right side of the container. Now, in terms of size and positioning, both the elements are similar. To give the front image a unique shape, we use the clip path property. This function allows us to define a custom shape using coordinates. In this case, we create a polygon with four points to clip the image into a diagonal shape. As you can see, the upper half of the row seems to be popping out. I am shifting this a little bit just to show you how this appears when the path is clipped. So it appears somewhat like this. Let me position it back. After successfully making the front image pop out, we have to add depth to the image back. For this purpose, we use filter drop shadow. The drop shadow property adds shadow to the transparent PNG image by setting horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur radius and shadow color. I have a tutorial on how you can apply box shadow to transparent PNG images. I will link the tutorial here. And that's it. We have successfully created a 3D image effect using HTML and CSS. You can now go ahead and use any image and text of your choice to recreate this effect. That's all for now. See you in the next tutorial. Till then, happy coding.